And we're back with episode 20 something Sad Powers podcast. Good friend, D&D homie, battle rapper, just started his own YouTube channel. J.O., everybody. Fuck yeah. What's good, everyone? Fuck, man. What's your channel called? Oh. Um, It's uh, Gengar J, but I don't have a uh, URL until I hit 100 subs or whatever. Oh, really? Yeah, it says you can't make a custom URL until 100 subs. I don't even know if I have a custom URL or anything. That's I think yours is Sad Powers, yeah. Oh, think. sick. Cool. Yeah. I'll help you get subs, man. Everybody we'll go get there, right? To J.O. <laughs> man. Hey. Have you done any of these online battles that have been going on? Honest, honestly, man, like, I love, I like the idea and everything. It's just not really my my thing. You know what I mean? I, I want to kind of... Uh, stockpile all my good stuff and just when the live battles come back i'm just gonna be you know sharpen my sword yeah i agree it's like you kind of like i like that uh like the getting the people's face factor even though i don't like violence and stuff in battles obviously <laughs> it's just like the crowd right like you feed yeah. off the crowd and it helps the energy and i just i don't know yeah, and it's like it's like a piece of art that you're making almost you know what i mean it's like exactly for like oh i went i I used to think that my battles like weren't that bad, that they were okay. But like just the other day I went back and watched them. And so many times I'm like stumbling over my words where it's like, I can't, you know what I mean? I, I, I like kind of yeah. right, right now, it's not like perfectly polished, like how it should have been. For sure. No, I feel that it does take a lot of people don't realize, man, the, the work that gets put into preparing for a battle is crazy. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the writing can be done in, you know, I can write a whole battle in a day, but am I going to perform it the next day? No. <laughs> you know, memorization yeah. takes a while, right? Some people are super good at that, that kind of shit they can do, it, but not for me. It's yeah, like, for me, not anything me either, takes man. forever. Yeah. I, need, I need the two weeks, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But a lot of people can do, like, you know, they accept a battle, like, two days prior, day prior. I salute those people, man. For sure, buddy, for sure. What's, like, your proudest battle? Like, if you want to send people to go watch one of your rap battles, which one should they watch? Um, I really do like the me versus dabs just because I do get to slap him at the end. That was, that was pretty <laughs> fun. And he's, he's the only person I've ever battled that at the time I did not like. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, um, all the others have been respectful people that, you know, it's, it's just a clash, right? They set it up just because it's going to be a good battle. Right. I feel like battle rap these days doesn't have, there's no rivalry, right? It's just like, oh, this guy's good. This guy's good. Whatever. Right. It just lacks the rivalries. Right. I did. I do remember like back in the old days when it was like, uh, I'm trying to think of a rivalry right now that was good. I can't really think of one. Um, Man, disaster guys. and DNA. That would, that's a crazy battle. Right? That has like millions of views. Eh? It's like yeah. Something. Oh yeah. And, and they like had an like, hour you know, long battle. <laughs> I was going to say, that's the thing. I don't really, I can't watch an hour long battle, man. Mm -hmm. But you know, like they were, they were not beefing, but you know what I mean? They had a little rivalry going on for like a year up until then. So, oh, right. nice. and that, that all that friction, it's going to create magic. Right. Mm -hmm. Do you still not like dabs or do you no guys... dabs? Is good, you know, he's a good guy. You know, um, it was just, I think he took promo a little too far. And I was in a dark place in my life at that point. So I just took it as, you know, keep the disrespect in the ring, blah, blah, blah. But I get it. He was smart. He got me wild up, you know what I mean? And it made for, it brought my best performance out, so. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So, like, tell me what you're uh, planning to do with your YouTube channel you just started. So, um, I definitely want to make it a gaming slash hip-hop channel. Um, I was going to make two separate channels, but then I thought, you know, not many P not many streamers are rapping midstream. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. I want to try and, uh, feed it off that. I'm going to be having a series where it is just rap, um, called heat rises. But other than that, I will be streaming with friends. I will be doing Pokemon playthroughs every uh, Sunday. So oh. that'll be fun. Are you going to do like a video every day you think, or how often are you going to release shit? So every Saturday and every Sunday, there will be scheduled content. And then in between then for now, it's just going to be streaming random games with friends, subs, you know what I mean? Good shit, man. Good shit. That's fucking sure. awesome, bro. Thank you, bro. Thanks. What about you, man? Are you going to do other, like, I love your songs, bro. I fuck. <laughs> 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 Thanks, them. bro. You know what I like about uh, 
like the secret project that I've, I've been doing for years. Yes, um, for sure. I, I really want to get that out there, man. It sucks. Like I was like, I, we were literally like trying to get a, a good filming of it before all this Corona shit happened. You yeah. were even there. And then now oh, it's yeah. like, fuck <laughs> man. Like now what? I feel so, like, like, I feel like we should do it with me and you though. Cause I'm, you know what I mean? Like, uh, not just because I'm a battler and like, it'll be like, Oh, he's, you know, it's not just a random person in front of you kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I want to, I want to, um, I want to give you that energy. You know what I mean? Like you could feed off of my like reactions back and maybe get some more people watching it. You know what I mean? I, th mm -hmm. I feel like we kind of rushed those, uh, those footage shots a bit, we you know did I mean? do. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. We didn't yeah. really say that. So, shit. But we'll make it. So we'll storyboard it to make it. So you love it you know, mm. and then go from there. Yeah, that'd be fire, bro. That'd be fire. For sure. We'll see. Like, I, I just, I wish I could get it, like, done and out there. But, like, maybe, like, once I hit, like, a thousand subs, I'll try to get it recorded or something. I don't yeah, know. So I feel like it is a big one, right? Like, I just had this. Oh, yeah. My most viewed video is, like, uh, 2,400 views or something. Beautiful. And, yeah, but it's just because, like, I hopped on a trend, right? It was, like, what's inside your butthole song, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know that one, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I just covered that, that and got, like, a bunch of views from that. And that was, like, four sure. days ago, yeah. Well, you know, the topic of your idea that you want to do, you know how many people fuck with that topic, so. True, exactly. I think, that, I think, that, I think that'll do good. Yeah, we should we should stop talking about it just because we're like beating yeah, around I'm, the bush too much. People are gonna be confused, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, what are you? What are your thoughts on ghosts? Do you believe in ghosts? Oh man, oh I could really get into it here, but I'm not gonna get too in depth. But oh yeah, big time. I um so my brother uh my brother passed away about ten years ago now. And Sorry, um bro. ever since then, uh so, you know, shit happens, we gotta move on from it, right? It helps mm -hmm. us grow. But um ever since then I always, you know, tried to contact him in many different ways. And let's just say I found other things, man. And I'm that you know what I mean? Like people can say it's your mind playing tricks on you, this and that, but when it comes to th this kind of stuff that I've seen and I've experienced, I know for a fact, man, that stuff exists. Like what about you? Yeah, bro. No, I've never really had any experiences, but like talking to people, I'm like be being pushed more and more to possibly believe it because so many people say yes, right? Just like yeah. you, they have so many like experiences or or know people with experiences. Um, so yeah, you said you found like other stuff. That's interesting. So like, you're did you ever try like a, a Ouija board ever? Oh, many times actually. Almost at every so-called haunted place in niagara like blue ghost tunnel fort mississauga fort george i've ouija boarded at all those places actually and does like the ouija board does shit happen with that for you see here see here's the thing most of the energy didn't actually have anything to do with the ouija board you know like it wasn't they weren't telling me messages and this and that but other stuff was happening and i could feel the energy shifts you know what i mean like mm -hmm. um and i was with someone i was alone for most of them because i feel like um, if you're alone, you're more, uh, vulnerable. Right. And I just feel like that's when I'm not, not going to say the most stuff happens, but the combination of that and your mind playing tricks on you really causes for a real experience. And, um, even if it isn't a paranormal experience, it's an experience in itself, just, just the environment you're in and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Damn, but bro. That's a good answer. It's wild. That's a good answer to the ghost shit. Goddamn. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, so did you watch, uh, I watched the uh, new uh, Elon Musk with Joe Rogan podcast. Have Man, you seen that I one? I knew I should have watched it today because I knew it was going to be something we were to talk about. <laughs> it's just I so crazy. It, I wanted though. to hear your thoughts on it. Like, Elon just seems like such a robot now. He's talking about putting uh, fucking... Neuro links in people's heads. You cut out like a piece of skull, right? And then no thanks. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's fucking uh, kind of crazy, like the shit that it could do or p possibly do, right? It's like you can make a paraplegic person just be able to walk, whatever. It's like you can fix someone that's blind. So and I fuck with that. That's cool. 
mm-hmm. I just feel like, you know, once you start dabbling in that kind of stuff, there is another side to it, right? There's, there's positives. That's what for I sure. think. Yeah, it's like for a sure. Pandora's box, right? Yeah, exactly. You open that up, you know, you're going to have to deal with uh, what comes out. Doesn't but he like, have like eight kids or something? I don't know. He just had another kid, though, he was saying. And he, like, he's, he sold all his shit. He's just like, I, I don't want any of my stuff anymore. I just want to, like, uh, focus on getting to Mars or whatever. Focus on the work. <laughs> Man, that guy's wild. Yeah, like, dude, it's crazy. He's an interesting person, for sure. Yeah, fuck. Man, I commend I, him, though. He's a very smart guy, man. Very smart guy. Yeah, I wish I was smart like that. I feel like such an idiot, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I fucking failed math. Bro. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And that's how I feel like most people are. It's like we're we're all a bunch of idiots just getting to use all this smart people technology. All all the smart people built all this shit around us and then we just get to use it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's true, man. It's true for sure. Yeah. Like What else it, was he talking about though with that? Like the Like was he talking about like soon or within like Yeah, he's like it was kind of fucked up. He was saying like in 10 years, it's going to be crazy. Damn, that, that's soon. Yeah, like in <laughs> like, 10 years, there's going to be like superhumans, or that's at least what my understanding was. And yeah, he said, but you know, Elon, it's like, I, I think like he was saying, I, like, I remember like a while ago, it's like, I think he was saying by 2020, there'd be the solar panel things on everybody's roofs and shit. And we haven't really seen that. Even though that yeah, was a true. sick concept, right? I did yeah. love that idea because it's like instead of shingles, you just get like solar panels. Yeah, and it was like, exactly. Mm-hmm. And maybe that is going realistically, on like, a lot more than I know. Like I just remember watching a video about it and being like, man, I'm going to get that in the future. And I never really got it. But yeah. I guess it, that's one of the ultimate the rich spend money, first. make money is right. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the big thing. Cause you definitely do got to spend the money to, uh, to get it going. But it's the idea on paper is, can't really see much wrong with it yeah and i'd love to get like a tesla if i could afford it i'd buy one for sure i don't know of all the billionaires i think elon's the coolest even though he's like so fucking weird (laughs) he's fucking awesome here's the thing though like he he is weird but he he doesn't think like a lot of other you know rich people like you know they're all Mm -hmm. thinking of um the next the, uh, the next cool thing he's the one thinking oh the next cool thing to invent you know, change the mm-hmm. world kind of thing. And I just, I don't know. I respect that dude a lot. He is wacky though. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. And it's like, but you got to create stuff. If you don't create anything, then there's no nothing out there. Right. Yeah. If, if everyone just sure. like fucking, you know, like with entertainment, like I guess I'm trying to create like entertainment and there is so many people out there trying to entertain just because any yeah. idiot can do it. Right. But uh, hopefully I have, like, a little bit of an edge or something where it's, like, a, I think, like, collabing with people, like, I'm doing, like, a podcast with, like, anyone that's, like, down, essentially, right? So yeah, it's, like, sure. fucking, hopefully this gives you some fans, and then if, if you have some fans, maybe one or two will come to me, right? Exactly, right? Two-way street, help each other out, support your homies, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure, man. It's, like, fuck, I, like... So many people have been supporting me like crazy. I really appreciate it. Fucking... Tom, what happened? Or no, was it Tom? Or yeah, what was the, name? the bod <laughs> Tom. He keeps changing his name like all the time. I don't know what it is now. I have like a whole thing full here. I'm gonna pull it up. Um, <laughs> That's awesome. Logan. The last name that I've seen that he had was Logan. Logan. Want to be friends is what he says all the time now. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, fuck. It's Fight crazy, though, because he gets, like, tons of fucking views, right? It, and fucking subs and shit because of it. It actually works. Oh, well, there you go. Mm-hmm. Maybe we got to become uh, we become a Tom or a Logan. Yeah, exactly. But it's weird. He only has, like, three videos, and then they all have, like, hundreds of thousands of views and shit. And That's then, crazy. Yeah, I think he had, like, fucking 500,000 subscribers or something. I don't know what he's at now, but. That's wild, though. Crazy. Yeah. That's awesome. So, yo, do you miss D&D as much as I do? Yeah, bro. Fucking so bad, man. It was such a good time. And it's another one of those things, like, we just started D&D, really getting yeah. into it, and then all this fucking coronavirus bullshit. And, like, yeah. fucking... It's not the same over, like, uh, 
Oh, not at all. Oh, to be man. honest with you, I can't hear you guys. Like, yeah. at all. So it's just kind of, you know, I wait for my turn, and then it's like, uh, rapier. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right? and, like, and I can kind of feel that, because, like, you guys, like, you and uh, Hilter would be, like, just talking to each other, you know what I mean? It's like, yeah, it's not the same as, sure. like, not when we're all together all. and fucking, it was just like, man, but we'll be playing again, hopefully, soon, one day. I yeah, don't know. for sure. Even if it's, like, even if, you know, some of the restrictions are, uh, you know, um, a little less strict, I guess I should say. I do think right. it's a little early yet, personally, to, uh, you know, they're, they're talking about phases, like opening up everything, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Um, but the, honestly, if I wasn't, uh, you know, taking care of my grandparents and this and that, I would I would have been there, right? Because, yeah, you know, sure. you guys aren't going everywhere and interacting with a lot of people and this and that. Mm-hmm. You're not sick, whatever. But um, it is what it is, you know what I mean? We'll get back to it when it when it's the right time. Yeah, for sure, man. And, like, I don't know. Fuck, I wish my internet was good enough where I could, like, uh, play, like, sick games like Warzone with you guys and shit like that, Fortnite or whatever. So is that what it is, just the internet? Yeah, it's too bad out here, man. Like, even for podcasting, like, for some reason, like, between, like, 7 and 9, I think it's because, like, a lot of people in the world are using the internet. It's like I can't podcast. If we were talking right now, it would, like, cut out every couple seconds. Oh, or like every 30 seconds or something are in you in the falls thing. um like it's kind of hard to describe it's like i'm between the falls and well and it's like uh no yeah. man's land yeah exactly <laughs> just in the middle of the country mm-hmm. i gotcha so that's the yeah, my internet's trash too but it's just the uh the download speed so mm. when i'm playing stuff it's fine but if i try and install something it takes so long like warzone took like almost three days to install oh fuck yeah that's crazy bro yeah Damn. so i feel like mine's not even that bad like i'd probably be in to be able to install it way faster than that see like i was so if it was straight through it would have been like maybe nine and a half ten hours but mm-hmm. i wanted to do stuff right i just got this pc so i was like pausing it blah 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 blah, blah this and oh, okay okay that makes sense then yeah <laughs> but whatever yeah i wish you can game with us though that'd be awesome that would be awesome i was like i used to live in the falls right for most of my life and then i I was like hardcore into gaming and shit the first thing i really got into hardcore was uh halo 3 man oh i miss that i miss that so much that was the in my opinion fuck it i don't even care bash me all you want everyone halo 3 was the best online multiplayer game of all time that, for me too, I had that same experience because like ever like the no scopes and shit was just so wild. Oh yeah, and it was like so much fun. And then after that, when everyone started like moving to Call of Duty, I was just like, it's not the same. Like people aren't doing like three sixty no. no scopes and like crazy yeah. shit. Like you know, and COD I mean? was way easier. I was a COD player. You know what I mean? I play. I was better at COD than I was at Halo. But COD is so much easier, right? Halo is a team game. You could not go in there alone and. You know, Some people were crazy good, like just no scope headshot and, and fucking yeah, Halo. There's a few people I knew, man. Do you know who Campy is? No. He was wild. He played. He was on the straight ripping. I'm pretty sure that the team was called for a while, and they were crazy, man. The montages were wild. Damn. They. I. I wish they. They need to bring that shit back, man. Make a oh, Halo yeah. three two or something. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Yeah, because as soon as they added uh, sprinting, it wasn't the same. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a whole different mechanic. Like Halo 4, or no, was it uh, Reach, I think, maybe? Um, they added sprinting, and I played it, and it was just like, you know, it's kind of, mm-hmm. it was like Destiny. I think they were trying to, like, compete with, like, Call of Duty or whatever, because that had sprinting and shit, so they're like, yeah, like and I get every it. game it's just, does you know, now, right? Yeah. Yeah, for sure. But, um, I'm trying to use this keyboard and mouse for gaming now, and I'm terrible again. So, I still use controller for Fortnite and Warzone, but everything else you have to use mouse and keyboard. Mm. I'll get there. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, for sure. Fuck so, me. um, oh, sorry. We're no, gonna... you go ahead. You go ahead. I was gonna say, what do you have planned? Uh, so, like, I know you you're doing your songs, you're doing your podcasts. Is that what your channel is going to consist of or are you going to have some other content as well i'm just kind of like experimenting man right now i'm down for like whatever i just like 
I don't know. I just like want to get to that mark of like being able to get monetized. So at first oh, yeah. I was just trying to get like as many subscribers <laughs> as I could. And then I realized like, man, my watch time is still super low. And I was like, yeah. how do I get watch time? So I was like, I'll start a podcast. And then the fans that I do have or whoever wants to can watch like whatever. They can even leave it on and go to sleep if they want. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. I mean, watch time's important, man. For yeah. sure. And my yeah. my watch time is still low. Like when I before I started the podcast, I was like forty hours. Now I'm like over a hundred hours of watch time, which is good, I guess. But like, it's I have to get to four thousand hours of watch time before. Oh, I thought I even, thought it was a thousand, or is it a thousand subs and four thousand? It's watch a hours. thousand subscribers, right? And oh, I have, okay. Like yeah. I have like three hundred and something subscribers, so I feel like getting the other seven hundred isn't even close to as hard as it is to getting that 4,000 hours of watch time, right? Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's, um, I know there's got to be some ways, or not ways around it, but ways of getting uh, your watch hours. I know for me, like, with the Pokemon stuff, I'm going to be doing things called sleep locks, which means I'm live streaming until I beat it, and I can't fall asleep kind of thing. Oh, that's sick. Yeah, and live streaming will help you for sure, like, because – even if you have like two people watching, three people watching you live, if you're doing it for yeah. like a couple hours, that's like bam, six hours right there. Yeah, for you sure. Mm-hmm. Definitely. That's why it's like sick with the podcast too, because like I see people watching in the live, and I can like live chat with them when it premieres and shit. Like the one I just posted, I had like five people watching like the whole time. It was sick. Yeah, that's dope. That's so awesome. When, so when this one comes out, hopefully even more people now. Maybe I'll have like ten people watching. I doubt Fucking it, right. but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll share all your shit, man, for sure. Thanks, bro. Appreciate that shit. Yeah, I'm proud of Louie, too, man. The the um, local Niagara, that shit's awesome. Yeah, he's killing it fucking so hard. He gets so many, like, people watching live. It's, like, usually, like, like at least, like, 20 people watching live, and then, like, after it ends, there's, like, 2,000 people that have, like, at least tuned in for a bit. It's, like, yeah, it's that's fu- awesome, man. And then, like, after, like, a week or something, it's, like, even way higher than that. It's like, he's fucking killing it, man. Yeah, I'm proud of him. Mm-hmm. I only met him, fuck, <laughs> you know? I only met him at D&D, but I feel like we're all just, you know? I knew you and Dubs, but mm-hmm. I never knew uh, Marcus, and I never knew Louie, and I feel like we're all fucking good homies now. It's awesome. Yeah, D&D brought us together. We're like a little family now. Which is funny, D&D too, because, like, I did not think I was going to like D&D. You know what I mean? I wasn't really... Yeah. You know, I never played, like, Skyrim. I never, you know, I wasn't really into that stuff that much. And then it's d and just different with the homies, you know what I mean? It's just good times. Yeah, it has, like, a bad condensation around it over, like, just, like, nerds or geeks or whatever. Dude. Yeah. But it is yeah. it is a fun game. It's, like, you can literally do whatever you want, you know what I mean? It's, like, you, you're just, like, free. It's, like, kind of like a Grand Theft Auto board game almost. Yeah, But in sure. medieval times sense. I love it. Like yeah. I'm an orc bar that's addicted to ketamine. Like you know what I mean? Like that's... Yeah. <laughs> Weber lets us get away with like more than we should be probably. <laughs> For sure. I love it though. He's a good uh, dungeon master. Yeah, I was I was doing all all kinds of crazy oh, shit. Oh yeah. You were you're wilding out more than anyone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. Um dubs too just uh plug him in a little bit here. He's fucking everyone check out his album, just drop Drifting. It's mm-hmm. amazing definitely check that out um he's he's been killing it for so long in my opinion out of all the local rappers and everything he gets overlooked more than everyone man like you know he works so hard he's so talented he just doesn't get the credit he deserves in my opinion well everyone loves him he just doesn't market himself hard enough you know what i mean yeah that's what see that's what i mean it's not like he has haters or anything it's just i feel like he his views should be better his you know yeah, he Everything needs, like, someone to, like, business manage him or something, I think, because, like, he's, like, such an artist, and he produces so much shit, but it's, like, see, like, with me, my stuff isn't even as good as his, like, I'll admit that now, like, if I were had a choice to, like, listen to all my podcasts or, like, Weber's music, I'd probably pick his music, right? But, like, the reason my shit's getting more views is because I'm out there commenting on tons of videos, or at least I was, and built up, like, a, sm- a fan base where it's, like, his shit, it's like, it's all locals, right? We need to, like, branch out. It's, like, it's all the same people that are, like, constantly supporting more. It's, like, how is he going to get discovered if people aren't even watching his shit anywhere else in the world? You know what I mean? 
Yeah, I feel that. It can't be just the homies, right? Mm Mm-hmm. And it's, like, yeah, um, same thing. Like, I appreciate, like, when my friends share it and shit, but they're almost sharing it to, like, the same people that I'm sharing it to anyways a lot of times. Yeah, so really it's, like, you know, that's how I feel with the battles, too, you know. Mm -hmm. Or people share their battle in the Beast Mode group. or It's, like, (laughs) you know, (laughs) they were there live, man. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) um, But, yeah, like, I feel like um, we should all help each other, you know, sharing Mm -hmm. um to different even to different um um what's the word i'm looking for like uh you know i have a lot of people that play pokemon that i know on discord this and that blah blah blah. and i could send them all of your guys stuff and they'll watch it you know what Mm -hmm. i mean so i definitely want to start doing that i want to start doing that for sure Mm -hmm. but yeah, man, like, fucking, I would recommend, like, anyone that, like, comments on your videos or stuff, like, once you start posting and shit, have you, like, you've only posted the one video, or have you posted anything else yet? So, I've only posted the one video, but, um, mm-hmm. I actually already recorded, um, the next Heat Rises episode, I'm probably gonna upload it tomorrow, mm-hmm. um, and then I'll do every Saturday after that, but, um, yeah, I'm only gonna have two videos, so. Word, but, yeah, so, like, Anyone that comments on your video, I would recommend like clicking on their shit and like checking out their channel and then like also <coughs> reply to their comment directly first, like say thanks or whatever, if they mm-hmm. say something nice and then click on their shit. And if they have videos, like some people don't even have their own videos, but if they do watch one of their videos and like leave a like and a comment, and support right back. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. exactly. Definitely. Cause then they'll be like, Oh, you know, he he's watching me now i'm gonna support him if he supports me i don't right. really like the whole support me i'll support you thing just like i get it when you don't know them mm-hmm. in person and everything i get it but there's a lot of people that i've had to you know i haven't cut them out of my life completely but with that mentality you know you know i'll only support you if you support me kind right of and i'm not saying like that exactly like more along the lines of like you go find other people that you like and that like will support like i have people that support me that i don't watch their shit right and I have people yeah. that I watch their shit and they don't watch my shit back like either. It's like, it's like I've found like channels that I actually like, and it's kind of cool. You like, you don't have to ever watch ads anymore, you know, cause they're, none of them are monetized when yeah, they're small yeah. channels. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck ads, man. Yeah. Ads piss me off so much, bro. Yeah. And there's like so many good shit, good shit out there. There's like sketch channels. There's like tons of people doing music, tons of people making beats, even giving away free beats. There's like, um, I don't know. I'm not really into like watching people play games too much. Like I'll fucking watch like you or dubs do it. And it, and I like sure. your concept of, like where you're going to rap and shit and you're like actually talking yeah. and like, For sure. if, and if we're leaving like you comments and you're going to like freestyle the comments and shit, that'd be fire, bro. Oh, that's a plan, bro. Cause I want to mm-hmm. do a thing where it's like, um, you know, any super chat or whatever, or donation or anything that anyone has, whatever they say, whatever beat, whatever, topic whatever it is i'm gonna give them at least eight bars you know what i mean right on the spot that's fire bro that's fucking sick i'm excited i think it's gonna be good shit man are you still there did you cut out oh i think we lost him i guess i'll just end recording thanks jo you're the best appreciate you buddy oh you're back I was going to say, yeah, you froze. And I was like, oh, wait, is it me or is it him? Shit. I don't know who it was, but I was just going to say we ended because uh, fucking I didn't know where you went. I thought you were gone. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my bad. Uh, did it's you hear what I good, said? Man. Or no, probably not. Eh? What, was, what was the last thing you said? The last thing I said was that I was going to give them at least eight bars on whatever topic or whatever beat they wanted on a donation or super chat. Right, right. I did hear that, and I said that okay, was okay. that was pretty fucking dope. Uh, is okay. there any like shoutouts or anything you want to do uh, before we call it a call it a night? Um, I definitely want to shout out um, you know, uh, local Niagara and Louis for um doing what he's doing. I want to shout out Dubs, Green Tree Records, you know, all the Beast Mode fam, and uh, shout out Sab, man. Fucking Thanks, everyone buddy. follow Sab, bro. He's got some awesome content. One of the funniest fucking guys I've met, honestly. Appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you. Yeah, you already know. Fucking right. Love you. Good night. Love you, brother. (laughs) Peace, bro.